Are you someone who can't do more than five pull-ups? That's great. As in today's video, I'm gonna give you three exercises to help you build strength within the pull-up so that after a short period of time, you will be able to do more than five pull-ups. Right now, before I actually get into the good stuff, I just wanna say if this is your first time here, welcome, it's good to see you. If you're new to body training and calisthenics, I want to build lean muscle mass simply with your body weight at home remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a single upload because every video i make on this channel are specifically for people like you my friend and please note this video is more for those that actually have some degree of upper body pulling strength so i'm talking like three to five decent pull-ups if you're someone who can't do as many and maybe can't even do a single pull-up make sure to check out my full chin-up guide I've already made on this video so you can actually build the strength to do the exercises I mentioned in this video. So the first exercise you can do to break through that five pull-up barrier is assisted pull-ups to unassisted negatives. So what you wanna do is that you wanna grab something like a chair if you're working out at home that is at a sufficient height so that you can actually still complete the full range of motion of the pull-up and you wanna put your feet on the chair and as you pull up, you wanna kinda of squat up by using assistance through the legs. But as you come up, pause for a second, bring your legs up slightly and come down, complete the full negative range of motion of the pull-up with absolutely no assistance other than your upper body pulling strip. And as you come down, you want to come down to the full range of motion until your feet then come down against the chair and then pull yourself up with assistance and then repeat for reps. And the great thing with this exercise is that you're teaching the nervous system how to actually perform the concentric phase of the movement, which is what most people struggle with within the pull-up. But within the negative phase, you're actually increasing the intensity of the exercise because the eccentric portion of this exercise relies only purely on upper body strength. And so this is actually a fantastic tool for those that can do a couple of pull-ups, but not really anything more because they actually struggle with the technique because this exercise helps you perfect your technique whilst further building strength. Win, win, win. Now the second exercise you can do, which is kind of like a progression from the first exercise, is jump pull-ups. So like I said, it's similar to number one, but instead of using assistance from a chair, you actually use a bit of momentum through your legs by kind of hopping up and then putting yourself up into the pull-up and then coming down again with pure upper body strength. This is the full pull-up itself. The range of motion, the body position, all that good stuff, but you're just giving yourself a little helping hand to do so. You're almost there, my friend. But as you're kind of like using a bit of momentum, a bit of a jump to get into the concentric movement and pull up, you wanna make sure you're doing it slow and controlled. So don't jerk your way up and down. Just a little assistance through the feet. That's all you need. Because remember, excessive momentum only trains your ego rather than the muscles. So as you do this, because it's subjective, you have to remain honest with how much assistance you're providing. But once you get comfortable by providing assistance through your feet and the heels, what you can do is decrease the assistance, go on your tiptoes, and the next thing you know, you don't even need to use your tiptoes because they're off the floor and you're doing full oh, pull-ups. Now the last exercise, number three you can do to get more than five pull-ups is chin-ups. Now if you're someone who can only do two, three, four, five, but not six pull-ups, chances are you can actually bang out about five to even eight chin-ups. Because a chin-up is a pull-up but instead of your wrist being pronated, they're supinated. So as a result, your biceps are gonna get involved more and it's actually gonna allow a greater power so you're gonna be stronger in that movement. And the great thing with the chin up is that it's an unassisted pull up. You're doing full pull ups unassisted, which is what we want. And the benefit of the chin up is that it has a large carryover effect to the pull up. Cause like I said, it is a pull up but just with the wrist being supinated as opposed to pronated. And this one comes from experience. At the start of the year when I came back from my groin injury, I focused on chin-ups. And as I practiced, 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 got better at it consistently over time, I was actually now pretty comfortable at chin-ups. So do you know what I did? Flick of the wrist, started doing pull-ups, and I was like, holy shit, I'm way better at the pull-ups now. And so the yeah. chin-up is actually a great tool to use to in turn get better at pull-ups, and more importantly, be able to do more than five pull-ups. And so if you enjoyed this video, you like these exercises I provided for you, and you gain some value within this video, and thought it was well worth your time, remember to like the video and comment down below that this video came at good hand for you. Because if I actually know that you're a step closer to achieving your goals because of me, 
that makes me feel pretty fucking awesome. And remember to stay tuned as, again, this is part of this mini pull-up series I'm making how to become a pull-up king. So don't go anywhere, as in the next video, I'm gonna give you some game-changing tips to get better at pull-ups. So, like I said, don't go anywhere. I'll see you, my friend, in the next video.